Kiss Tomorrow Goodbye film from Wikipedia, the free online encyclopedia at wikipedia.org. Kiss Tomorrow Goodbye is a 1950 film noir starring James Cagney, directed by Gordon Douglas, produced by William Cagney, and based on the novel by Horace McCoy. The film was banned in Ohio as, quote, a sordid, sadistic presentation of brutality and an extreme presentation of crime with explicit steps in commission, end quote. Supporting Cagney are Luther Adler as a crooked lawyer and Ward Bond and Barton McLean as two crooked cops. Plot. Ralph Cotter is a career criminal who escapes from prison and then murders his partner in crime. Along the way, he attempts to woo his ex-partner's sister, Barbara Payton, by threatening to expose her role in his escape. Cotter quickly gets back into the crime business, only to be shaken down by corrupt local cops. Then, when he turns the tables on them, his real troubles have only started. Cast. James Cagney as Ralph Cotter. Barbara Payton as Holiday Carlton. Helena Carter as Margaret Dobson. Ward Bond as Inspector Charles Weber. Luther Adler as Keith Cherokee Mandon. Barton McLean as Lieutenant John Reese. Steve Brody as Joe Jinx Rayner. Reese Williams as Vic Mason. Herbert Hayes as Ezra Dobson, John Little as Police Chief Tolgate, and William Frawley as Byers. Restoration, re-release. A restored version of the film was released in 2011. The film was restored by the UCLA Film and Television Archive in cooperation with Paramount Pictures, funded by the Packard Humanities Institute. The new print was made from the original 35mm nitrate picture and track negatives and a 35mm safety print. The restoration premiered at the UCLA Festival of Preservation on March 14, 2011. Reception Critical Response The film, often compared unfavorably to White Heat, received mixed reviews. Fred Camper, film critic for the Chicago Reader, called the film misdirected, writing, quote, Gordon Douglas's direction is almost incoherent compared to Raoul Walsh's In White Heat, 1949, which features Cagney in a similar role. The compositions and camera movements, while momentarily effective, have little relationship to each other, and the film reads a bit like an orchestra playing without a conductor, end quote. Film critic Dennis Schwartz generally liked the film and wrote, quote, This is an energetic, straightforward crime drama based on the book by Horace McCoy. They shoot horses, don't they? And the screenplay, which hardly makes sense and is the root of the film's problems, is by Harry Brown. Gordon M. Douglas, Come Fill Thy Cup, Only the Valiant, helms it by keeping it fast-paced, brutal, and cynical. And let's star James Cagney pick up where he left off, in the year earlier White Heat, as an unsympathetic mad dog killer. This was an even tougher film, but the crowds did not respond to it as favorably as they did to White Heat, which seems odd since it is basically the same type of B-movie, end quote. While not regarded as favorably as White Heat, its lower budget and maze-like plot lines involving crooked cops, two opposing women, economically shot scenes going to and from small interior locations, and an array of twists and turns make it something the more action-packed and mainstream White Heat wasn't, a film noir. The outside marquee in the cult-famous movie theater scene in the horror zombie movie Messiah of Evil bears this movie's title, although within the theater a trailer is playing. This was the second James Cagney picture featuring William Frawley, Fred Mertz from I Love Lucy, the first being Something to Sing About, 1937. This article was recorded on July 27, 2019.